Welcome to Date with Danu right here on Hi TV, your luxury channel. Today, we're going to be speaking about law, sports, advertising, friendship, and everything in between. All this and more on the show today. Hi, my name is Shana Kamara Singer. And I'm Dev Shari Jayaman. And we are on a date with Danu. This is the glamorous, most glamorous edition of the show he's going to have. I mean, we took three hours in makeup. Each. And the results are this. Please, please see. <laughs> and Danu go way back. Uh, and Danu and I have just made a film together, and which Shanak has been a part of as well. So we are hoping to talk, uh, catch up, and, uh, and have a lot of fun on today's show. Yep. Welcome back to the show. And we have these two gentlemen here. We have Dilshara, who is seated right next to me. And then we have Shanaka, uh, who is seated further away. <laughs> Uh, so let me start off this show on a right on on the right note. Shanaka and I fought. We had a huge fight in Gaul. Do you remember? I actually don't. What? Yeah. It was such a big fight. <laughs> it wasn't such a big fight. Okay, I was <laughs> just exaggerating me. a little bit. But we were acting in a play together. That was the first time that I had to act with him. Uh, and I hated it. <laughs> ah, yes, you didn't learn your lines. No, uh, no, no, no. That's not the fight about. Okay. You are the one who didn't know the lines. I knew the lines. Anyway, so he and he's, he had a shadow of a friend those days uh, who was with him. Do you remember? Yeah, this one friend. Jan. No. Then? Oh my God, you have more. <laughs> <laughs> you had a friend at that time. Okay. Um, Imagine <laughs> No, no, it was actually, he was there in the cast. Okay. And I was the third one who comes to this play. Ravi. Anyway, Ah, huh? Ravin. Ah, Ravin. Yes. So now we had this whole skit planned, everything was done. Now we have taken this to Gaul Lit Fest. And now we are about to perform. But before that, of course, you know, Hans, Billy Moria style, we had to rent a little bungalow. Everyone had ice cream and lunch and they were floating above certain cloud frequency. And then <laughs> we were all told that we'd be there by 4.35. Shanaka, 4 o'clock, let's go, let's go, let's go. Why? No, I want to do the run -down. How can we do a rehearsal when the director himself is here? Because we have to like sort of, it's gall it first, we have to like sort of maneuver our way. No. I said, I can't come. This one just yells so loud. <laughs> All what Hans did was, why, why? What's the problem? What? Okay, you go. Baba, you stay. <laughs> <laughs> and in the play also, I'm supposed to hate him. It was very natural after that. But that was the last we uh, acted. No? I was just doing some method acting for no. you. Yeah. It was far from method, you were just being you. <laughs> just a cow. Uh, anyway, so that is uh, Shahanaka a little bit. For those, uh, he's one of the most uh, hated yet few really loved uh, person. Isn't that true? Yeah, yeah. Perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I uh, go back in time with Shanaka because we worked at YesFM together. Uh, he did a show called The Score that people hated and listened only for the reason to hate him more. Actually, that's the truth. Correct? Yeah, but I, I actually have to say that if you were on the score, you would feel exactly like I feel today. Because I don't know why... People hated you? No, I mean, as in, this is, I feel as unfamiliar as you would have been on the score. Ah, right, here. Okay. Yeah. Why? I don't know. He I'm not a date, I'm not a date with Danu word. kind of guy. That's no. because of him. Ah, yeah, I told you that. Uh, coming back to that, you just jump the cue card. It's oh, fine. Sorry. So anyway, this man here uh, also did a film recently. I'm not going to talk about it right now. But he also comes from an ad agency background for a long time. He's heading an international, international firm that is here. And at the same time, this is just uh, my way of saying, you know, give us business on this show kind of a situ situation. Consider it done. Thanks. <laughs> there you go. We might never get it anytime soon. But anyway, it's always time to try. Okay, Shanaka, you're a Thomian, you have done acting, you have done sports, you have done it all. Tell me, uh, do you, like in the last three years, we have been so away from this whole creative frequency. Do you miss it? Uh, yeah, I do. And I think Dilshara just, we were chatting before the show, and he said he's never been happier, even though the film has been stressful. And it's just so nice to see something that you have created up there on screens and people watching. And he's, he's living that right now. Mm. And I think in the last three years, the inability to have that kind of outlet has been really uh, 
Painful. difficult for a lot of us, mm. and especially those who are more full time in it. Luckily, I have a I have something else to fall back on, which is a profession, a conventional profession. But yeah, it's it's been tough. And during COVID, we did a play, but it was something that broke me because it's just so hard to do a play without funding, without support. Mm. So yeah, no, it it's, just breaks. it's tough. It's just hard to see when people are once scared to come into a place that we used to all love going to, like the theatre or to the Lionel Wint, and you're just left with such empty seats and you're wondering why. Uh, it, it breaks your heart. But anyway, it's it's great to know that things are picking up again. We have we have had sold out shows in the last few weeks uh, for new productions that are coming out. That means theatre is going to live again. And it's the only way that you can bring out new talent and create better people mm -hmm. than just, you know, bookworms. Are you looking at me? No, no, looking? no, no, nothing. I'm going to come back and speak more with uh, Dilshara. Don't fight with me, okay? Uh, we'll see you after this. Because we have a game, right? I can't see anything. No, now it's called Hot Seat. Welcome back to the show. Um, uh, I have a few questions and you guys need to answer it. Look a bit happy now, both of you. Yeah. Like, gosh. Uh, all right, here we go. I'm going to start with Chanaka because he's new to this show. No? Hmm. All right. Kumar Sangakara, Mahela Jayabardhana, uh, Lasit Malinga, Angela Matthews. Rank them according to your preference and experience. Preference and experience. Uh, don't know exactly what that means, but I'll do it quickly. Mahela Jayabardhana, Lasit Malinga, Kumar Sangakara, Angela Matthews. Done. If given a chance to host a radio show once again, who would you pick to be your co host? Shaq, Mark, Dominic Keller, Kumar Sangakara. Dom. Good choice. Rugby or cricket? Rugby. If sex was the only currency available, who from the following will you choose to carry a transaction with? Otara, Hirunika, Sagala Ratnayaka, Pushpika De Silva, Ranjan Ramanayaka. Uh, Otara for sure. Just one transaction? Yeah. Only with Otara. Yeah. Now that you have watched Yalu or the Yalu either, directed by him, who would you say is your favorite on the big screen? From the film, obviously. Yeah, of course. Um, the Undertaker. Okay. What's his name? Kumar Tirimadra. Would you recommend someone to go watch Yalu or the Yalu? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Dilshar, if you had to pick your favorite person off the screen from the movie that you directed, who would it be? Raj. Off the screen? Off the screen, like from the screen. Oh, what, what does that even mean? That's fine. He was hoping you'd say that. An advertising personality who has inspired you the most. Ronald De Silva, Lilamani Benson, Varuni Amunugama. I think I have to go with Lilamani. She was my mentor. I worked with her for the longest. She's no longer with us and I, I miss her every day. Okay. One thing you like and dislike about Shanaka, who is seated next to you? <laughs> well, okay. Shanaka. the same thing. Uh, Shanaka is a very, very kind person. And I love that about him. Uh, what I dislike about him is that he does not let himself live out to his true potential. True. If you wake up one morning as Yureni Noshika, what's the first and the last thing you would do? <laughs> Christ. Uh, <laughs> God, how do I answer this question? Uh, I, I get out of bed, get into bed. No, 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 no. I know this person. Okay. okay. Um, I would um, say yes to more projects. The last thing I would do uh, would be say no to some projects. Clearly, that's not what you would like to do. But yeah, if, you, if there were no labels out of the two of us, who would you take out on a date? You. Shana, you're the winner. Oh, thank you. 
Congratulations. We're going to give you a break. break. We'll see you on the other side. Sit on it. Dear. Welcome back to the show. It's a day to with Dano with these two gentlemen. Now, I uh, wanted to speak about... Um, Shanaga. <laughs> the field. No, no, I don't want to speak about you. Um, how did you get into sports and commentary and all of that? Uh, it's something I've always loved. I bought I've them. Always, always loved to be a Victoria's Secret Angel. Yeah, I always loved within the boundaries of reality. Right. And so I just, I knew the 1987 World Cup commentary by heart, the 1991 World Cup commentary by heart, because at that time we didn't have a lot of other distractions. So you just buy the VHS tape and when just watch it. When were you born? Before 1987. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and then I just watched the VHS tapes over and over and over and over. And uh, I just really liked it and I know a lot about a lot of different sports so it seemed like the thing to do and then Shaq called me up one day I'll never forget that I was in university and he said Machang uh, sports show you want to do it and I just said yes one of the few things I've actually just said yes to without thinking too much yeah and uh, yeah it lasted 15 years I'm quite proud of that uh, I must say you were actually one of those people everyone was quite interested to know more about because you really? gave such a, such a bad taste in people's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> uh, why was it? It's, it, is it? Is it a character that you built for the show? Uh, I'd like to think not. <laughs> well, now that you put it like that, I, I feel like I should say yes. Yeah. But, uh, no, I just, I've always spoken what I believe to be the truth, Danu, and that can ruffle people yeah. a bit, so. Have you also been aggressive? Yes, I think that is a very, very like off accurate. Radio. Yes, I think yeah. that's an accurate way to describe me. So I'm, I'm working on that. You're still working on yeah, it. Yeah, it's a, it's you're a not long, out of it. Long project. Wow. Yeah. No, no, I think you are much better much. actually. But you know, funnily, out of, um, out of everyone who worked in radio at that time, there was a girl called Blessy, and there was uh, me. We were the only two who really liked him. Yeah. You got my jokes, probably, both of you. Maybe. Yeah. And, yeah. And you had a better looking body than... <laughs> than now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to say, then, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was very less competition in the radio field. <laughs> yeah. Much yeah. I had the face for radio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, actually, there were others who were born for it. You <laughs> just happened to come there. Um, Deshara, now... Your friendship with him, you seem a kinder soul. I, I, I hope that, that's true. Um, but how did you all, like... Okay, so, so Shanaka and I knew each other, kind of knew each other from school. Shanaka captained the St. Thomas's debate team, I captained Ananda. Right. And we never really got to debate against each other. Ah, really? But we kind of had watched each other debate and we had some degree of... Oh, okay, that's nice, yeah. Who and was better out of the two of you? Um, um, me. Okay. Yeah. Me, <laughs> uh, but uh, um, but th then I I mean I ran into him uh, and I I was actually a contributor on his show. The uh, score. Yes, because I used to do an anonymous call in about Formula One, and mm -hmm. when it was not the big deal that it that was it now, yeah. that it is now, and I I right. used to be very much into it. So I used to. He so used you to acted as a total fanboy listener who has been listening always no no he was actually a proper oh, friend, contributor right. yeah so I, I used to do the like he'd we'd get on air and do the formula one thing okay and then we did a show together oh yes what what was the show called we did sri lanka's at the time biggest cricket website called lanka cricket mm -hmm. oh really yep. yes with people like mahela and uh, and this was on what it was online. We had a website called lankacricket.lk. Oh. And uh, Shanaka was the host. I was the producer. 
and Avishka and yeah. and Rufi yeah, Fernando. What yeah. era were, were we talking about? I mean, this was what five years ago? No, no, longer, no. Not that no, long. No, but maybe about yeah, yeah, seven, six, eight years six, ago. Six, yeah. seven years ago, yeah. Because if it's five years ago, we have lost three years to COVID. Yeah, so it was about six ago. or seven years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so y'all did build up a friendship. Yeah, yeah, actually, we we spent a year in London uh, mm. together. together. We were both studying. Ah, sorry. Yeah. And it's it's actually quite a depressing place when you go there and you don't know anybody. City that's so grey. Yeah. And Charles is from there. Mm -hmm. It's quite depressing. Okay. So we hung out a bit there, and Dilshara used to DJ at clubs, so he used to get me into those Soho nightclubs and yeah. stuff, which was quite cool. And his brothers were very hospitable. So yeah, we we got closer there. Yeah. yeah. Has he has he ever been rude to you, Shanaka? Yeah. I can't remember it. I remember him being rude to a lot of people. But not to you. But not to me. Have you? Oh, that's nice. You know, apart from that one fight where he really broke my heart. And <laughs> I was time. trying to get us to the rehearsal also, of time. You were trying to get there even before the Gold Lit Fest could get there. What were you trying to hold the bloody building in with? Anyway, we have a game and it's called On a Scale. I've tried playing this with a few people. Some never got it. So, let's try it again. Welcome back. So here, we are going to let you rank each other. You all know each other very well, no? You all have been friends, you all have been intimate for one year in London. So that gives you all enough and more reason to understand each other. Here we go. How organized are you? Are your work spaces right now? I like this is on a scale. You have to rank him, and he will rank you. One to out ten. Out of ten. Yeah. Out of ten. Mm. Sure. To the cameras. Oh. You're organized. Kind of. Like ten organized. Eleven. <laughs> Really? You're OCD organized? Well, I'm the one who tried to get you to the show, like, before it started. What show? The one that I, we had a fight about. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's called being organized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> How happy are you when you are absolutely, when you have absolutely nothing to do? How happy is the other person? Yes. Right hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I can understand that. You're a bit of a loner, Shanaka. <laughs> How well are you known for being reliable? That's nice. You're just one point low. No, because he never answers the phone. Ah. Why is it kept far away? No, he responds to texts. Ah, one of those. I like calls. How much of a shoe fanatic are you? Hundred percent. He doesn't wear I'm, shoes. I'm just happy that Shanak even has one pair. <laughs> That's also, I think, because it's mandatory. <laughs> he, he's like doing. Own. He's doing the barefoot thing. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh. Touching earth with yeah, your first heart. First, it was vibrams, and then now. I still have the vibrams. Okay. <clears throat> What's vibrams? No, no. They're, 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 tell him. They're like you. You got into yoga, no, big time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're like so shoes you're flexible that now. fit your feet. They're shoes ah, with sorry. individual toes. Ah, so you look like a lizard. Yeah. 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 And you're flexible. Apparently. Okay. And you have a long appendage. <laughs> <laughs> Who is more likely to have less gay tendency? Who is more oh, likely to have, have less, less gay tendency? So who is hmm. less gay? 
is that what is that I think that's the question. So mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then I have to say about you. Yes. Just rant. Mm. Yeah, I'm going middle yeah. ground here. Yeah. Fine. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Although he did once very suggestively squeeze my nipple. He has had a very romantic past. Uh, yeah, that, I, maybe I was looking particularly attractive that day. He was quite, okay. He had a very colorful past. He has used those corridors well at St. Thomas' <laughs> College. Can I give the two of you? Yeah, but he got one already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll Sorry. share. Oh, okay, that's up to you all. Yeah. But I personally feel that both of you want. And this is Date with Dano. We are speaking about friendship and the works. Now, how, you're, you're, you also got him involved in the movie as, as the lawyer, not to act. He was, he's actually the lawyer for the movie. Uh, do you think he did a good job? Yeah, he, he did. Yeah, he'll sue somebody for no reason as well. <laughs> <laughs> as long as he prevents That's people from suing, suing me, you. yeah, I I'm That's you're fine. Shanaka, what is your idea of of the? Is this your first film that you're a lawyer for? Well, I've been. Uh, I've consulted on a few creative projects. But you have also acted in multiple films, all international productions. Couple of films. But yeah, I've yeah. seen you. Like like three minute roles and all. But yeah, 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 yeah. You have been there. Second roles. Yeah. But yeah, it's been really nice to be involved in this project with Dilshar. It's nice to see your friends actually getting up and making a you movie. You consider him a friend? That's beautiful. Uh, it's nice to see him actually just somebody get up and do a movie, mm. like somebody you know, which is great. True. And to be involved in a small way was really fantastic. And uh, Did he offer you I, a role? No, he didn't actually. He didn't ask me to audition. I he think I would have been one. really because good. The, because in the to last, be fair. Yeah. In the last one, he you had did a, a movie role. before this? We did an experimental movie oh. during COVID. Right. A Urani and Dinakshi and all were in it. Zaharanga, all were in it. And it never got released? No, no, because... It didn't, right? Uh, Johanny was in it, all of that. Then uh, he auditioned, and then one day before the shoot, he flaked. You f are you flaked on something? Why that, was that it reliability score? That's why nine. Was was is it because you didn't like the character? Did you have to get physical no, with was, someone? Uh, I got the script just a couple of days before, and I was not comfortable in learning my lines in Singhala well enough. So it's okay. not something I do often, so I just needed a bit more time and I just let him down badly. But Hetty, Hetty came yeah, in I think and he Hetty was, did yeah. a... So nobody's going to ever see this? I'll show you separately. All ah, right, okay, one of those, okay, done. Um, okay, uh, but tell me, in this world of advertising, there was a time when all of us were like, you know, after we leave school, we need to do something cool and advertising seemed like a good job. Is that what took you there? No, no, oh, I, was, I was working in television. Oh. And uh, at YRTV, and uh, a lot of people kept telling me you'll do well in advertising. I had no idea what advertising was. Um, I was getting paid a very low amount of money. I did, I went for the interview, and uh, I thought it went like I, I I actually didn't know what to make of it. I got in the bus, came back home. The lady from finance called and said, ah, your appointment letter is ready. Uh. So I said, OK, can you tell me how much the salary is? Uh. I had just got off at Katubadda and was walking into the Malika bakery to buy a malupa. Uh. And she Priorities. said, <laughs> she said 40,000 rupees. My salary at that time was 7,500 rupees. You took the job. Left the malupa, crossed the road, <laughs> went back and signed. signed the yeah. What can I do with 7,000? Back in the day. Yeah, you just did it for the fun. We were stupid like that. You know, creative people are stupid at times. Yeah. We say, no, nah, you give me whatever you can. That's what I said about my first job interview as well. And they paid me 5,000 for two and a half years. Yeah, yeah 5,000 was my first yeah. pay as well. And that's really sad. Uh, 
Shanakar, speaking about theatre, how many plays have you done so far? Um, no, maybe about 20, 30. That's it? Considering the fact that even in 1987 you can read and write. <laughs> well, I didn't start acting in 1987, <laughs> but started acting properly in 1996, so that's about 25 years ago. So I'd say one a year, maybe a little bit more than that. Okay. Yeah. So about 30. But how did you sort of manage the whole rugby life and the acting life in St. Thomas's? Uh, well, I'm not the first one to do it for sure. There have okay. been people who've played much higher levels of rugby than I have who have still been very good actors. Uh, and it's something of the culture of the school. We encourage people to be a little bit more rounded. So you know some of them, Hans, Jeevan, all these guys who've done very high level captains and Thomases and still been very good actors. So it's something we do. And, uh, and what taught you better lessons in life? Rugby or acting? Yeah. Uh, both. I can't separate the two. We have a game and it's called Yes or No. You get another chance of winning something. You're just low in your scores, dear Shara, for now. <laughs> Let's see if you can score up. We'll see you with that. We have questions and we have a board. Be honest when you show the side. But you can also do this. You can show a side and maybe explain if you yeah. feel like it. Are you extra? O T T. I am not. <laughs> right. Okay. That's just my personality. Uh. So, so what what else is there? No, but some are born like that. That is me. So but you were not born with your personality? No, I was just, I'm, I'm a very soft-spoken person. Oh. Have you ever used a pickup line that has gone wrong? <sighs> Are you an optimist? Is there anyone in your life that you just can't say no to? Who? My me? mother. My wife. Has anyone ever accused you of being too b You, five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Do you think that there, there is more than one right answer to a question? Uh, yeah, yeah, like Donald Trump, there are alternative facts. <laughs> Do you believe that there is good in everyone? Are you part of a church or something, Shanaka? No, but I mean, <laughs> cult leadership is a hot thing here, so maybe I'll think about it. He makes the Kool-Aid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you have just become complete like butter. <laughs> You're regretting getting more yeah. the show now. No, because he was like, completely bad those days. Um, uh, do you think it's important to be yourself? Is that it? Yeah. Unless you can be Batman. Yeah. Yes. Then Have you ever Batman. played Naked Tag or any Naked Games? No. I mean, Tell me I, the truth. Yeah, I guess with my wife. Shanaka? No. Have you ever done something that you regret? Do you have a habit that most people would find very irritating or weird? Tell me. I think uh, I. I if I see a cotton bud, I have to stick it in my ear. You? I correct people's grammar. Oh. God, you and I can never be friends. <laughs> because I won't be able to talk. <laughs> have you, did you feel like you should correct me now? Uh, no, you just corrected yourself. <laughs> uh, <it's> just <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, but that's good because anyway, English for me was like the second language and that also didn't go right. No, English for me was a show. No, we are not like you, no <laughs> <Yes>. Charles. <laughs> He's not old enough to have watched it. 
<laughs> I'm Francis yes. Matthews. <laughs> yes. There was a show when we were kids called English for Me. It was on Rupa Vahini. Okay. And it was hosted by some person who went, I am Francis Matthews. And this is English <laughs> for Me. And that's why y'all learned. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, we had options when we were growing up. It's simple. All right, I need to give this gift to someone. Mm. I have a cool Thundercats t-shirt. I'll just give it to you, Dilshara. Just so that you know. Because I'm closer. Yeah, I, I'm physically it's, it's, close. And also it's from Chariot. And I know you love food. So all ah. this and more. There are more reasons. We're getting into a break. We'll see you on the other side. We have a cool segment that I really love playing. And especially with these two, I love to play it. So we have a game that we like to play and it's called the Kinky Segment and we also give a gift from Midnight Divas, shout out to them. Um, have you been to Midnight Divas? I can't say I have, no. You have it, never? No, he said he can't say he has? Yeah. Maybe he has, so he, he just has, can't you say never know. <laughs> Did Shara Tracks. have you? Online. Ah, oh, no, I have, I have, I have, I have. There you I go. Uh, now that you are doing yoga, Shanaki must be, these must be just like toys for you. What are those? <laughs> they are literally toys. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. I can't wait to see you living a better life from today. <laughs> All right. I want to ask this question. Preferred time of the day, morning or evening? Both, either. Either person can answer. No, both of you all have to give. You all are not ha together, no? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> morning. You all are not together in it, no? In what? In what? Means you all have it separately, no? It what are we, we are talking about the act. Ah, the act. Oh, right. What are you all doing? Right. I thought okay. you wanted to answer for one person. I was thinking more. Okay, okay, okay. The, the, the bag should have clued us in. Yeah. Uh, morning. You like morning? Yeah. Shana? Morning. Morning. What do you all do in the evening then? Too tired. Uh -huh. Right. That's it, that's the segment. Also, if I said evening, I'm not at home. No. Why? I ah, go work. home very late, yeah. yeah. So then. Mornings, do you get to work on time? Yeah. Do you get to work on time? Uh, ye not really. I think you need it. He's using. You can share, try it on each other. <laughs> Okay, that's a whole other show. Yeah, that's what I think you all might like it. Uh, Shanaka, <laughs> you want to take a look at it? No. I think you have not used it. I don't know what it is. Um, how is life these days? It's good. Married? No. Settled? Kind of. Would you marry? No. You were married? Yes. Was it a mistake? Too soon? Eh, I suppose. Current one has brought the best in you? I suppose. 100% I yes, think so yes, too. Yes, yes, of 100%. course. 100%. 100%. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. You were like a dog in heat those days. <laughs> uh, you are so much more approachable now. You don't bark at people. But. Uh, but as I was coming back to this, I have to say, so you have always been misunderstood. Uh, people think that, oh, he's just, you know, he acts cocky, he's just opinionated, he, he thinks no end of himself. But none of that is true. Mm. How I, many people have actually taken the time to see that in you? Um, do you like that people think of you like that? No. Nobody likes being misunderstood, do they? I don't mm. think yeah. so. Because he actually has a marshmallow heart. Yeah, he's a very sensitive guy. Sensitive, sensitive. He's a little girl inside with a tutu running around. Then Why? Huh? This was not the purpose of this show. No, I just wanted, yeah. I just, I just wanted, to, I just wanted to say. But, uh, but in terms of uh, you in school and in terms of you now. <laughs> you said it. 
<laughs> it was a little girl in a toto when you were in school. <laughs> No, no, not in school. I'm just saying, from school to now, and all that you have seen, um, and the sports people you have worked with, everything. Do you like where your life has taken you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. It could have been a lot worse. True. How was it for you when you were in school? It was great. I had a great time. Did you feel like you should? Uh, did you? Did you? Have you got to where you wanted in life? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm living my best life. I've been very blessed, very lucky. Um, I've had a lot of people support me. Um, and for some reason or the other, whenever I have asked somebody, hey, shall we do this? 99 times out of 100, they've said, yes, let's yeah. do it. That point one percent is for Shana Goding come for that shoot. <laughs> yeah. uh. You know, can I say something about yeah. Shanika? Sha I think there's been enough. <laughs> no, no, no. But I want to say this: the <laughs> amount like this is the memorial of Shana. <laughs> no, but the um, he got a lot of flack on that show, the score, right? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, but the amount of work that he put into doing that show uh, shows because of the kind of personalities that he was able to bring on bring the him. show. Yeah, although those, they hated him, they came. Those people from you know the best people in the world at the sports that they did would never have people like Martin Tyler. I, 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 the English rugby uh, players, uh, the New Zealand rugby players, they'll never come on the show if, if it wasn't done by somebody who was of the greatest capability. Mm. And he put in a crazy amount of work to get there. Yeah. So that, that, that because I, I, mean, I think that deserves commendation. That's very true. That's very true. I must agree. But I have to tell you, uh, so I got a chance to host the World Cup. Uh, and when they called me, I actually laughed about it. I was like, oh, I don't know cricket at all. means I just know cricketers and I know the, what the game entails. But I don't know all these LBWs and all elaborate versions of it. You don't. And you know, I can't be like a past coming kind of a moment. And so I, I just didn't want to like have a bad situ. And I denied this. I declined this phone call multiple times. And then eventually, somebody locally called me and said, uh, Shahanaka recommended you. Shahanaka who? Shahanaka, Shahanaka? It's like, oh, okay, I'll do it. Because I asked for the amount of money I was going to get, and we were in a bit of a financial crisis at that time, and it worked so well. And I'm ever so grateful to him for giving me the chance, because were you there for the T20 as well? No. I no, I was. I was, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I got booked for that as well. So yeah. it was kind of cool. It was a cool experience. But he never told that to anyone. He just gave it to me and that's it. I and didn't give it to you, Danu. I recommended you because you were good at what you did. <laughs> I didn't give it to you. I had no idea. It was not my decision. They asked me, do you <laughs> yeah, know someone? I, know. <laughs> I said, this is nice. But you know, he was Indo. Like, he did the cricket act. So you did the cricket, cricket thing. Yeah, I just got crisp, like black. <laughs> By the time I was done with the 11 games, I was literally unrecognizable. I was just, my skin was a different person. But it was a great experience, so thank you for that. I, I have to, that, that's like the one good thing he has done in my life, and I had to mention that. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. We are going to a segment, and it's called Dish the Dirt. And it's a date with Danu, and we have uh, some questions to ask. Tell me, um, how healthy is the advertising industry in Sri Lanka? It is much healthier than it used to be. I'm very happy to say that. Um, it is getting better by the year. And sometimes you have people working at a particular uh, firm, and then next day morning when you wake up, they're somewhere else. I mean, like, all those things have stopped now? Um, they have lessened because I think companies are treating their employees better than they used to. Mm. Um, and also the younger people, are more. I think they're more daring than us and they're more, they stand up for themselves more than, than we used to. You were mentioning it a little mm. while ago. Um, so in, in certain instances, companies have had no choice but to do so. But all swings and roundabouts, it's, it's, it is better. Mm. Um. Big Match Fever is on, and Royal Thaw is one of the biggest ones out there, although I'm a Peter, I have to accept the fact that it is the biggest one. How big were you with uh, Royal Thaw? Uh, heavily into it until a few years ago. Did you jump into girls' schools? 
E when I was a schoolboy, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And do it you would think be a bit creepy if you did it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. I didn't want you to jump afterwards. I just wanted to know, like this, you know, there's so much of tension against that, you know, everyone, like, you know, it should be stopped. So, do you think it should stop? Should it continue? Uh, interesting that you asked that, Dhanu, because I just read it Only today. Only now you said one thing positive about my questions. <laughs> Interesting that you asked that because I was reading a Twitter thread about it today and somebody was describing it as a bit of a toxic trait and all that kind of thing. And yes, I agree, there are aspects of the big match culture which are quite terrible. Uh, but the whole reason that boys jump into girls' schools at this time is because there's such a segregation of the sexes. Like mm. boys and girls don't coexist. It's much better than it was. Mm. I mean, when we were in school, we'd barely interact with a girl all the way through unless it was a prefix day or something like, or a debate or something mm. like that. And guys who weren't prefix or didn't and debate or your act. school was especially out of Colombo. Exactly. Yeah. So um, I think the reason that they do that and the reason that the girls kind of have a little bit of a giggle about it as well is because it's one of those moments where it's kind of allowed. Mm. And people are saying that the, the big match culture is toxic and patriarchal. Yes, that's true. But also this whole segregation and making sure boys don't meet girls, girls don't meet boys, you can't talk about them, you can't uh, have any interaction with them, that's also a very patriarchal mm. thing. So I think the critique of the big match culture needs to be a little bit more nuanced. And I think we need to understand why kids behave the way they do. And I think kids behaving the way they do is kind of okay. The problem is it when 40-year-old men are behaving the way kids do. That That's where the issue is. That is true. Um, because I think uh, during COVID, uh, some kids were arrested mm -hmm. uh, for jumping into schools and the whole drama. Um, what school did you jump into? Uh, ladies and bishops. You all had to literally okay, commute to Colombo. You all came to Colombo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. a task. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, the year, the one of the years that we, uh, we, when I was a prefect actually, the army commander's daughter was at ladies' college. Mm. So uh. a few of us almost got shot <laughs> because she had, she had an armed guard present but no, 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 no. Uh, managed to get away. Yeah. yeah. Well, I uh, wanted to ask you, the drama competitions we used to have in school, it was it was the thing. It's where you know we see so much of talent, and there was so much of unity at one time. Is it there now? Are you connected to school in any way? Um, not really. I mean, I don't go in on a regular basis for much, uh, but I'm not sure that that unity is there because as the rivalries used to be quite yes. yeah. severe. Yeah. Right? But we never yeah. took their school so important. Like mm. they were not in the league. We were <laughs> yeah, yeah, all were just actually like. We, but we've done, we well for, we've done well for ourselves. Huh? Yeah. We have won Shakespeare several times and now we are quite a big deal. Huh? Yeah, yeah, true. I think Anand the drama has done a lot for, yes. for uh, yeah, yeah. Anand the college. Yeah. <laughs> Nalandian went and won the Olivier Award. Okay? Uh -huh. No Tomi and no Royalist has done that. That is true. But I must say, uh, Anand the Nalan the big match is like literally a concert. Yeah. Yeah. They have so That's much of right so musical much of talent, talent yeah. in that school. Let's get into a break. Yeah. We did some digging and we found a few pictures on what's on their social media. Uh, Shanaka has not changed his profile picture ever since Facebook was created. I don't think I've ever changed it. Maybe once or twice. Once, I think. Uh, and also I forgot that we acted in another play together. Uh, Doctor Becoming, no, with uh, Vinod Senadira. Yes, Play? playing, playing doctor. doctor. Playing Correct. Doctor, of course. I was a dog. Yes. Yeah, no, I, not that I was a dog. I was a human that had that a, a tendency of becoming a dog. Yes. Yeah. What were you? I was a doctor. You were a doctor. Playing doctor, yeah. Yeah. You were a doctor. You were the lead, right? Yes. Sorry, forgettable. <laughs> <laughs> So, 
<laughs> you see why I wanted to sit there. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, to be fair, it's, I just realized the show is called A Date with Danu. And you're supposed to let him talk. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, if you have to have a good date, you're supposed to let the other person yeah. talk. I didn't yeah. mean it that way. Like, I forgot that you played that uh, the lead role. It was fun. But we ate so much in that play. Yes. Yeah. We were fat by the time we got on to production nights. We know the really fed us. Uh, talking about experimenting on Facebook. Mm, why? <laughs> no, I'm a big Daft Punk fan. And that this doesn't look like that. No, no. That was it's when uh, Random Access Memories came out and I just wanted to... I, I've been a Daft Punk fan for a long time. So they were helmets, no? So I just put a picture with me. <laughs> but this looks like you're going for a protest. No, it looks like I'm going to rob an ATM. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, nowadays it's a protest look. Ah, is it? Yeah, okay. for the tear gas and the water oh. not to be around. But that was quite... That yeah, would have been way before early that, yeah. 2010, 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's best that it's your head of sound. <laughs> head of audio. No, that's him. This guy. Oh, 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 gosh. All right, so uh, I believe you that you're a DJ. Uh, oh, do you know who the other person is? No. That's Mars. Ah, really? Yeah, that's DJ Mars. How old were you? You look like a child. Yeah, I was a child. We were 15. They paid you all for it? Uh, I think this is my best friend's party. So, no. So no, no. But we were we were we were getting paid for DJing at that time. At the age of fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, one of my all-time favorite human beings, uh, Richie McCaw, greatest rugby player that has ever lived, one of the greatest sportsmen that has ever lived. I was. He's living still, no. Yes. Yeah. I was so chuffed. Look at my face in that photograph. I look I like know. the cat has got the cream, man. You look as proud as you were when you were standing next to me. Who's yeah. the other person? Uh, that's my friend Tiva. You didn't want him there, no? You just wanted the picture with just the two of you. Mm, Tell me the truth. I didn't. I didn't. Tell think, me that I, truth. Honestly, at the time, I was so starstruck, I didn't think about it. Who took the picture? Uh, my ex-wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Lilamani. Lilamani, uh, my. Where was this? This was at. I think a relaunch of The Office. Uh, do you have a bit of a toe fetish? Do I? Yeah. No, but I, I think I know the picture you're going to put up. No, I do not have a toe Are you fetish. Sure? Shanaka? <laughs> well, my pretty feet are nice. What do you do with it? Look uh, at them? Good, good. He got right. Midnight Divas. Good. No, no, this, the, the, this if, is yours. If yes, because this is they're clean. That's this is where yeah. They, but they, you have a bit of a dry skin issue happening. Yes, but wait, I'll tell you the story. Right. So this was an election day. Everybody was putting pictures of their finger with the little ink election part. ink, and I just wanted to. Feel you gave your feet. No, man. I just ah. wanted to feel special. Ah, you know right. those dumb things that you do to. To show that create, you're a different yeah, kind to go of person. Against the grain. You know, I'm yeah. so happy that Crystal is on the show. I'm going to give you some moisturizer. So thank you. I clearly need it. Yeah. No, no, but that is also an overexposed picture. No, but that, that's dry skin. That's showing. No. That, also, you have need a better printer. Oh yeah, that's, that was a cute picture. Where are you in this, Shanak? It's really hard to find. Uh, I can't. He's the one wearing the tutu. <laughs> Yeah, so we just restarted rugby at prep back then. That was, uh, that was nice. How old were you? Uh, would have been 11. You, you, were, were you wearing specs at that time? I was, but maybe not in the picture. Okay. So this part of you, when did it start? Um, that's just me in Japan. It's again... Ah, right. You yeah. have not taken this up as a new sport. Or like an no, art. no, no, no. No, that was just going to a samurai show festival thing and they gave you a You could have order. dropped the specs there as well. <sighs> yeah, that's not me. I know it's not you, but I thought it looked like like an 
seventies version of you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you have? Uh, I didn't know him, but uh, huge role model in terms of the kind of things people talk about him. Mm. And yeah, so. But you look like Richard Dussaiza. I've been told that by people Turn. who have people who are very close to him. Turn again. Your lips are too big. Yeah. Apart from that, you're there. You know, I'm really happy that, you know, specs became sexier. Yes. <laughs> I am also very happy about that. If you see the glasses I wore when I was eight, oh my God. Yeah. Like, they made, those days they made specs to make you look ugly, you know? It was really unfair. Like, and you're squinting to see as well. Have you been blind all your life? Since I was about six. Uh, Dimitri Cruz took this picture. This on your day of your yeah, well, engagement? No, wedding? no, no. We don't have a wedding photograph ah, really? because we didn't have Not a wedding. Just eloped. Almost. We spent 2,000 rupees, got the registrar to our house. We got married in six minutes. Uh, but we don't have a wedding photograph. So this is at my wife's uh, cousin's wedding and Dimi was there. And Dimi oh, was just like, make use of other people's weddings. Yes. <laughs> Get onto a poor row quickly and... She looks nice, no? Yeah. Ah, yeah. I know. You're a cool tempo DJ. I was a cool tempo DJ. Wow, so that's so cool. That's a huge thing, you know. Cool tempo was a big thing. Like I remember cool tempo. Yeah. So that's where Mars and I. This is a ladies' college batch party. And how old were you here? Sixteen, seventeen. Ladies' college batch party was like the apex of parties at that time. Yeah, yeah. I remember you came and asked for the Rockefeller skank and then didn't dance. Everybody left the dance floor. Really? I played it only because it was the greatest song ever, and some person asked for it. But that was then, you. Yeah, he asked for it, and I was like, "Yes, I have an excuse to play it." And then nobody danced, including him. See, the second time he let you down. First time, actually. The first. Yeah, another one of my favorite shots. Uh, my friend Alifia took that. Mm. Uh, my first interview with uh, Mahela, and he blasted me for being ten minutes late. Oh, the after that, you never got. Late. After that, I've been on as often on time as possible. Right, okay. Uh, but yeah. For you, was it, was it Mahela or Kumar? Mahela. Why? Um, I think there's a fairly well documented uh, difference of opinion between myself and Kumar. Unfortunate because my problem was never with Kumar. Um, it was about, it was with the people that kind of, it's going to be a very difficult question to answer. Uh, but again, it was a misunderstanding, and I think Kumar kind of got a bit cheesed off for things that I had. Oh, y'all don't talk anymore. We talk now. Huh. We talk now, but there was a time that we didn't, right. uh, because he was understandably cheesed off, and I think Mahela also told me like, "Why the hell do you have to go out of your way to piss people off?" Ah, and yeah, he was right. right. Um, so now you don't do that. I try to avoid it if it doesn't absolutely need to be done. Right. Okay. Yeah. Softer, calmer, tame version of Shanak. It's nicer. Uh, anyway, so um, I just I'm happy that I had the two of you on the show. Uh, they have a great friendship, and also there's a movie out. Please do go watch. Nice to promote local films and keep it going. Next one you can see Shanak starring in it as a yoga instructor. I'll write you a plot. <laughs> Maybe we'll yeah. put him in a flexible pose in Midnight Divas. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not the kind of movie I want to be in, Dilshar. <laughs> I will co-star that film. You're an, <laughs> you an actor, no? You act. Yeah. I will, uh, you will, I will co-star that film. Mm-hmm. All right, on that note, there's always been some tension between me and Sharnaka for those who have not seen it already. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I could rekindle his past from school days and make it work today. I feel like we're going to be on a broke <laughs> mountain set soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, on that note, we'll wrap things up. Um, all the very best for Yalu or the Yalu either. That's the first debut film that he has done as a director. We will see you soon with that. Uh, we need to wrap things up. Thank you for being on the show, guys. Um, always appreciated uh, the love and support that you have given me and also for being there in many ways than one. Uh, thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having us. If you all want to say something nice, it's your chance, but it's okay. We'll see you soon.